Today we're going to use SOLIDWORKS to do a stress analysis. First we're going to build the model and then we're going to sign the model, 3D model, uh, material. Use a material given in the library. Given in the library. Okay, so this is alloy steel. And uh, one simulation study is being created here at the bottom. You can select it. If you want to go back to model, then you can see the model only. Or you can go back to switch to the analysis or simulation. OK, let's get started. First, create a new file. Um, this one, we're going to use uh, uh, PSI as a unit system, use inches. Okay, so let's first save this uh, file. Say Address. Analysis. Where is the initial? So part. Okay. So make sure. The unit in inches, pound, and the second. All right. So first, we need to create a sketch. So use front plane. Create a simple bar with a slot. With slot. And uh, with two holes here, uh, with two holes here, okay. So give a dimension. So this one say ten inches. Ten inches. Okay, and the width, say two inches. Oh, that's too large. So make one inch. Say. Okay, and uh, make sure. This is centered, say, 25 inches. And uh, make the one to be 1 quarter inch, 0.25. And uh, the slot, say, 1.8. Make this one being driven. Should be alright. And uh, make this one to be 0.5 inches. 0.5 inches. Distance, say, 1. Inch and uh, center to here, 
in the middle, only five inch. Hit OK. All right. So then we are going to make this one to be extrude. Say point two inches. Okay. So we have our solid model. Let's save the file. Not specified material. So um, you may don't have this uh, being defined. So what you can do here, right click. Okay, right click this uh, um, a part, and then you can see here is the material, and edit material. Once you open this one, you can select the material. Uh, we're going to use alloy alloy steel. Okay, and hit apply. And hit OK. Now you can see we have alloy steel being displayed here and the material. You can always change it, right? You can always change it. OK. Let's close this one for now. Save the file. Whenever you made satisfied changes or modifications, then you save your file. Okay, we signed the, we made the model. We signed the material to the model. Now we can start to do our simulation. Click simulation. Make sure your simulation is available. If not, then you can go to add-ins to check simulation. Okay, just check simulation. All right, now new study. Click new study. We're going to make this one to be a uh, yes. Sta take underscore one. Make sure it's a static. Okay. Hit OK. All right. And then you can see we have a uh, we have this simulation being displayed on the left hand side. All right. So. What we can do, we can make constraints. We're going to make sure the this this surface is being fixed. Okay. You can either use this one or you can come to uh, here fixture. Okay, fixture advisor. Okay, you can click here. We're going to make a fixed geometry, right? You can see here, we consider this one as a cantilever beam. So then we are going to use this surface with two holes, okay? Phase one. Uh, if you want, you can change the edit, the symbol edit, but that's okay for us at this point. Control seven to bring it to the correct side. Save it. Now you can see the fixed constraints being given here. All right. Now we're going to add load. So we're going to use a load. Say the force. Not instead of torque, we are going to use force. Say. Um, the force is normal, okay? Okay, or if you're going to use the surface, then it's normal to the surface. We're going to select the direction, okay? Select direction. So we're going to use this edge, use this edge, okay? Edge one, okay? And then we're going to choose, choose this point, choose this point. You can see, this point gives you the direction along this uh, edge. All right. So, uh, what we can do? We can reverse the direction. Okay, reverse direction. Okay, we would like to make sure this is going down, and uh, the unit will be like this. So, um, 
this gives the per item, right? Per item. So what if you have multiple items here? So you can see we can add total. The total we're going to say SUI the Newton, right? So we're going to use one hundred newton uh, one one sound newton, okay? One sound newton. So you, we have two, okay? We have two vertex, okay? Two vertex, and uh, the total force applied is one sound newton. Once you defined, let's bring to as match view. Okay. It okay. So that means each of this one supposed to be. Um, 500 okay 500 Newton all right now we defined the constraint we define the force then we are going to create a mesh okay so create a mesh right click mesh icon and create you see so uh, Issue warnings for distorted elements. You can um, you can change these uh, parameters. Okay, I'm I'm going to use the default uh, uh, default setting at this moment. So uh, in your assignment, you you can change this one. Okay, you can change those one to see use different value to see what. Uh, what's the result um, being changed by changing those parameters? I'm going to hit. Okay, now you can see the suggested mesh is being created. Okay, so save this again. What you can do here, the mesh, you can hide the mesh. Okay, you can hide the mesh or you can show the mesh. And you can also uh, look at the mesh details here. You can see, right, the uh, study name, associated study name, and the Jaco uh, Jacobian uh, for high quality mesh, and so on, right, element size, and so on. Okay, tolerance, uh, mesh uh, quality, okay, total nodes, okay. Uh, Around fifteen thousand nodes being created. Okay, total elements, it's around a fifty. Okay, uh, sorry, eight hundred and five, eight eight thousand and five hundred uh, elements in total. Maximum expected ratio, and so on. All right, so it's been given here. All right, so once we have this, then we almost get. Settings done, then we're ready to run our simulation or run the study. So we can run the study, and then you can see the result is being given. This is a stress distribution. Okay, stress distribution. You can see the stress. The stress is high at this corner. Where the the corners where the force being applied, and uh, you can see the stress is also high close to this uh, end where the beam is being fixed. Okay, look at we can also look at displacement. All right, so control seven. To bring it to this, you can see at the end, the displacement is the, the largest. All right, and the strain. We're supposed to have high strain close to here, right? And uh, also have high strain here. Also, you can see the strain is high because uh, the section, the section area here is smaller than. Uh, this area okay so this is expected 
So what we can do here, we can add more results. For example, um, so let's say uh, define uh, define factor of safety plot. All right. So you can see a new. Okay. So. We would like to use maxima van mass stress, okay, and uh, go to next step. So the unit use psi, okay, use psi as a unit, and uh, yield strength, okay, and then alloy steel. Next uh, area, okay, we are going to use a factor of safety distribution, okay, one, which uh, we use one here, okay, so this is the result, all right, so we can save this for now, okay, once you get all the, you can add whatever you want to show here, okay, you you can also formulate some um, uh, equation to create your uh, plot, okay, results. Here's a displacement. What you can do here, you can also run simulation here. Mm, what you can do here, displacement, right click, animation, okay, animation, right, so you can see displacement is being given okay so you can pause you can stop you can accept the results okay so and uh, you can see uh, you can redefine your definition of the chart okay so once you've done this one then you can save a file and now you can create your report. You can create the report. So uh, since we don't have any, uh, we don't have any um, flows, okay, uh, sensor details. We don't have any. We don't have any. Um, let me see. We don't. Study performance, unit, material property, load and the fixture. Uh, connect. We don't have any connector. Okay, so we can cancel this one. Uh, contact information, mesh information. Con we don't have any contact information as well. A contact is a force. For example, if you have a, um, a cam system, you have a gear system, then you have contact. Right. So. Bins, we will see that conclusion, right? You can if you if you have any conclusion want to put here, then you can you can put comments here, okay? And uh, now you can see go to documentation and uh, show the report, show report on publish, okay? So uh, you can also add designer, okay? I'm going to put my name here. Okay, company, financial college, financial financial college. Uh, if you want to put a logo, then you can browse the logo. You can put address. You can put phone number on your report. Okay, so letter size uh, is okay. Uh, you can documentation. Stress analysis, statics, uh, statics. Okay, one. You can modify this one as well. You can choose your own directory. So you can also put any if you want to put some def description here. For example, my report. Oh, tutorial. One 
stress in lysis. Okay. Right. So you can put assumption here if you wish. Right. So uh, anything you would like to put here. Model information. Right. Study uh, properties. If you put, if you want to put anything here. You can add it to your report later as well. Okay, once we're done, then we can publish. It takes a while to get a result. Um, the information you created or saved in this uh, file is being generated in this report. Okay, so this part is being put here. All right, then save the file and close it. 